Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of the Blue Eddy B230 external battery or expansion battery. Um, as you can see, I have my Blue Eddy AC200P on top of the B230 expansion battery. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to interface the B230 battery with your AC200P. And uh, first off, we're going to go over the specs of the B230 battery. I might put some things on the screen so you have something more interesting to look at. Um, first off, the B230 battery has a 2,048 watt hour capacity, pretty close to what the Blue Eddy AC200P that you see on top does, which has a 2,000 watt hour capacity. Um, on the um, B230 expansion, you have several ports. You have one 100 watt USB-C port. You have one 12 volt 10 amp car outlet or car type plug. And you have one 18 watt USB-A port. And the B230 battery can be recharged via solar, um, car, or lead acid battery with the optional uh, DC charging enhancer by Blue Eddy called the D050S. And just so you know, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can charge the B230 battery um, with solar and showing that uh, D050S uh, charging enhancer uh, by Blue Eddy. So let's go ahead and get the, I'm gonna get this camera set up for the angles. And uh, for this, in order to do this, you will need an accessory to connect your B230 battery to your AC200P. And it does not come with the B230 battery or the AC200P, at least when I got mine, it did not. So you're going to need a P090D DC cable to XT90 cable. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you the next shot here. So let me set up the camera for that. Okay, in order to hook your B230 battery to your AC200P, first you're gonna need an accessory that came with your AC200P, which is the XT90 to aviation plug. Okay, so you're gonna need that. And you're also gonna need the uh, P090D, um, which is your expansion port plug to XT90 cable. So I'll go ahead and open this up so you can see what's in the box. So it's a styrofoam on top. Pull this out, I'll show you that in a minute. And then you have your manual for it. So this is what you have in the box. Just go ahead and move it out of the bag there. This is the expansion plug. And you'll notice on it, it has um, lock and unlock and a little button here. Let me pull the little cover off. And the button makes it clip into the port. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect the aviation plug uh, and X XT90 cable. Now you see, I mean, you'll see a little dot right here. You're gonna wanna line that up with the red dot on, let me just go back to this. You wanna line that up with the red dot on here. So let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna hear it clip in place like so. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now let's go ahead and connect our P090D expansion port to XT90. So I'll go ahead and plug it in here. And I gotta use a little force to get it on there. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and slide the unlock to lock. And then go ahead and connect the two XT90s together. Ends, I had the wrong way. All right. So just so you know, there's some LED indicator lights on here and they show the percentage of the charge level of the B230 battery. So you have 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, and 100%, okay? If you just wanted to normally turn on the B230 battery, you just press the button for a moment and let go. And you can see the uh, LEDs have lit up to show that we have about 80% capacity at present on our B230 battery here. If you wanted to turn on the other ports here, the USB-C, the USB-A, and the car outlet, 12 volt DC, 10 amp, then you would press this little button. And I'll go ahead and press that on. You heard that click. So now you've activated these ports. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off right now because we don't need that. 
Now to activate the charger, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off for a moment. They say in the little instruction manual that you're gonna go ahead and um, push the button in and hold it for five seconds till it starts flashing. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's come on, you gotta wait till it starts flashing, they said. You can see it's flashing there. So let's turn this around and uh, bring the camera out. You can see the blue eddy is initializing. Sorry for the shaky camera there. But as you can see, the B230 battery at present is putting 562 watts into our AC200P blue eddy. And I don't know if you can see that, but my current charge is about 34%. So this is how the B230 battery works with the AC200P. Just think of it as just as it sounds an expansion battery. So this battery, the B230 battery, will go ahead and put in watts like it's charging from an AC outlet or solar directly into your uh, Blue Eddy. And so now you can see it's doing about 560 watts right now. So that will fluctuate slightly. You can see it's dropping and stuff. So I'm sorry about the autofocus. Hopefully it's coming in okay. I know it's hard to see the percentage, but it's showing 34%. There we go. And again, 560 watts coming in. So real quickly, that is how you would interface uh, a B230 expansion battery to your AC200P. So very cool there. Um, I tried this yesterday, I was at 62%, and it very quickly went from 62% to 70% with about 560 watts on average coming in from the B230 expansion battery. So very awesome. With this battery, we've expanded the capacity of our emergency backup from 2,000 watt hours, which is the capacity of the AC200P, with an extra 2,048 watt hours, so almost just a little over four kilowatts total now with an AC200P and a B230 battery. So I think this is a really awesome thing. It's really cool that Blue Eddy uh, was able to interface the B230 battery with their model they had already put out previously, the AC200P, because the AC200P came out before they had the expansion batteries. So very awesome that we're able to still use an expansion battery, even though it was manufactured from my understanding after the AC200P came out. So anyway, this is a great way to give some extra juice and power to your Blue Eddy AC200P. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to recharge the B230 battery uh, via solar with the D050S DC charging enhancer. As like I said, you can recharge the B230 battery with solar, a car, or a lead-acid battery. So... To shut this off, you're just gonna go over here and hold the button down, turns off, and you can see there's no more power coming in. So anyway guys, I hope you've liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And you guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, we're gonna unbox the Blue Eddy B230 extra battery for our AC200P solar generator, also by Blue Eddy. To the right, you'll see our cat Leah, who has decided that she wants to be in the video too, so we're gonna go ahead and let her. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Blue Eddy uh, B230 battery here and see what we get inside. Okay, it looks like we have a box inside a box. So, let me see, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take this out of the box real fast and then we'll continue here. Okay, this is the Blue Eddy B230 battery. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it here. See what we get in the box. This is the uh, extra battery for our Blue Eddy AC200P solar generator. This will take our uh, Solar generator from 2,000 watts to 
4,048 watts of capacity. So let's go ahead and unbox it here. Okay, looks like we get a uh, owner's manual. Let's see what's inside of here. So I you guys can see that okay. It looks like the owner's manual. And you also get this, which is the warranty. This is the warranty packet for it, so that's inside that little thing here. And let's see, that's just an empty piece of cardboard. This is a cable to uh, Connect the uh, battery to the AC 200 Max and I think the AC 300 Max in the newer versions. This cable unfortunately does not work with the AC 200P. I'll show you later in another video of how to uh, connect the AC 200P to the B230 battery. So we'll set this aside. And we'll take the styrofoam off. Little big piece of styrofoam. And you can see the B230 battery down inside the box. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here. Let's go ahead and take the camera off the tripod here. Take a better look at it. It's the side, this is the uh, back. Can read that there. Let's turn it around. Let's turn it on and see what uh, power level we have. Looks like it came charged to 80%, which is great. And you do have some DC outputs on this. You have a USB-C 100 watt and a USB-A 18 watt. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. So very nice. Got a 12 volt DC cigarette style outlet, which is up to 10 amps. This is the battery extension, the cable I showed you earlier here. Um, that goes from this model to the AC300P or AC200 Max. Unfortunately, like I said, the AC200P does not have that adapter port on it, but I'll show you here in a um, later, later in this video or in a separate video how to connect the Blue Eddy AC200P to this Blue Eddy B230 battery. And we have an input adapter, it says, um, which says, uh, what, 58.8 volts DC, eight amps. So, sorry about the autofocus there. So there you go, this would turn on the DC outlets by pushing this, this button. And to simply turn it off, you just push the button and it turns off. And let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and see what this looks like with the AC 
200p our blue eddy solar generator let's go ahead and do that okay this is what the uh, b230 battery looks on the bottom of the ac 200p solar generator and uh, i'm going to go ahead and put it in this little cart because these are quite heavy both of these weigh about 60 to 70 pounds each so our little cart will come in handy but anyway that's the unboxing of the b230 blue eddy battery uh, that we're using with our AC 200p solar generator. Daughter, I've been tempted by the darkness. Tell him